about today's DIY. I've been meaning to make a neon sign for a long time. Finally pieced it together for you and happy to show you how I kind of did an industrial version with an old piece of steel. So essentially all you really need for a neon sign is some EL wire and that's something you can order off of Amazon. It's not too expensive either and I will leave the link for that below but let me show you how I pieced my sign together. So to recreate this sign, I used a piece of steel, also a piece of wood to lay underneath for when you're drilling. So you will need the cordless drill, of course that EL wire, also I have some sandpaper, scissors, my printed off sign, a marker, tape, and some string. And just to note, the Foxley Lady, uh, it's a play off of Foxy Lady. I have a friend who lives on Foxley Drive and this was a gift for him. So I'm just trimming off this piece of paper with the sign that I had printed off on the computer and it did take me a while to find out the font that I wanted and one that fit properly for the length of wire that I was working with and that's exactly what I'm doing here with the string this is a very very important process you want to measure this out before you start anything and what I'm doing is I'm running the string along all of the places where the wire will eventually go and keep in mind the wire needs to be continuous so you are going to use a lot of extra wire that you don't realize because you have to overlap and hide it behind. So once you've done that and measured out all of your lettering, run that piece of string along the EL wire in order to make sure that you have enough EL wire. I'm not going to lie, I did that about four to you know eight times to get it right so I had to resize it a lot but it is very important as is this step. Now I am just marking down where I want all all of the holes drilled in in order for me to make my sign and you really just have to think about this mentally envision the wire coming out and going down and come back out and going down in order for you to make your letters so uh, after I did this I went back and I'm like oh no I actually need a couple more holes than I realized so as you can see letters like the F and O have a lot of holes in them whereas the X it doesn't have as many again you just have to mentally go through this and envision it in your head but once those are all marked I took a piece of scrap steel just uh, drilled through that to make sure that I had the right size of drill bit in order for my wire to fit through and then you're just going to go ahead and drill in all of those X's that you created and it is gonna take you a long time but once you're all finished you can remove your sign and reveal all of your holes left behind so after that you're just going to uh, take my piece of sandpaper here I sanded down all of the holes as there was some rough edges left and even some scrap bits of steel that's just so it's safer and you're not gonna hurt yourself I then just took my wire and uh, began threading it through all of my holes in order to make my letters and again be very careful with this it is sharp if you're working with steel and you want to be careful when you're running the wire through so you're not cutting it and destroying it you do want to make sure that you're making sure that it's tight as you can see I'm kind of pulling it there tight in order for the letters to be visible and look their best and after I was all done I ended up actually having a nice piece of wire left over so instead of hiding it behind I pulled it back forward and I just stretched it across and it actually fit perfectly so I pinned it in place with some bobby pins and some tape and then I glued it down with some e6000 glue which I forgot to record but I was just taking off the book there and as you can see it set quite nicely I then just glued the battery pack to the back of my sign and that's it <laughs> together. I love the industrial look that it has, but if you don't want to use steel, which 
is a little trickier because you have to drill through it. It's harder to do and it's sharp to work with. You can easily do this with a thin piece of wood instead. Or another option is simply handwriting whatever words you want out and then you're going to form the words with some stiffer wire and then you're going to go back and glue on the EL wire to that wire just so that it has a piece of like framework that it can work on and then you can hang up your sign. So a ton of different options. Send me some photos of what your neon sign looks like when you're all done. I'd love to see it. Instagram and on Twitter, you can follow me at Janelle Steeper and then use the hashtag 2DIY4 if you tag me in any of those photos. As always, give me a like if you enjoyed this DIY and don't forget to subscribe next Wednesday. I'll be back with a new one. Cheers.